Welcome back. Here's a live look near Helena Highway 49 South at the Mississippi River. And you can see a little fog is still occurring over this area. Now the fog seems to have cleared out for us here in Greenville, but it is still a little foggy out there. So that should be clearing out by the late morning hours. So now again to the forecast. Today is going to be a mostly sunny day. It's going to be a little bit warmer today than yesterday and we will also have breezy conditions. So it's 51 now here in Greenville, 50 in Clarksdale, 45 in Batesville and 44 over in Winona. And again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Nice, pretty green background. It's going to be in the mid 70s for our high. Winds will be from the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but gusting up to 20 at times. Now, the overnight low will be in the upper 50s. We'll have showers and thunderstorms starting to move in late tonight and mainly during the overnight hours. And again, this is moving in ahead of the next cold front. That should reach us by tomorrow afternoon. So the high for Friday will be in the upper 60s, a few degrees cooler than it will be for today. And again, we'll still have showers and thunderstorms lingering for tomorrow morning, but the rain should be moving out during the morning hours, at least by the early afternoon as the, at the latest as that cold front is moving in. Winds will be southerly around 15 to 25 miles per hour at first, and then becoming westerly, southwesterly after the front passes. So the Mississippi River here at Greenville is at 45.7 feet, and it's still going to remain around 45 and a half feet for the next day or two. Then by the weekend, it'll be at 45 feet, and then Monday and Tuesday, it'll be more so around 44 and a half feet. But again, still not dropping off too much for any time too soon. So again, you can see that the river is still pretty high. So now here's a look at the severe weather threat for today and for tonight. So for us here in the Delta, we're pretty much in the clear. The threat is mainly to the south of us and to the west of us, especially over Louisiana. They're all under a slight risk for severe weather. And again, this is with the, that next cold front that's going to be pushing eastward into our region by tomorrow. So now looking at the severe weather threat for tomorrow, now the threat is basically going to be to the east of us. So again, the delta, we're still in the clear. That light green just indicates the potential for thunderstorms. But as you can see, the marginal risk and slight risk for severe weather for today and tomorrow will pretty much remain to the south of us and then also to the east of us as we get into Friday. Now looking at your future tracker, we'll still have mostly clear skies for today. But again, by late tonight, those heavy showers will start to pick up and the thunderstorms. You see that low pressure system off to the west. And then by early tomorrow afternoon, that cold front should be moving right over. Over us. Now we could still possibly have a couple of showers lingering behind the front, but as the Friday continues on, the showers will push eastward out of our area. And then of course we'll be a little bit cooler after the front passes. And then our overnight lows for Friday night to Saturday morning will be just a little bit cooler than it was for last night and the last couple of nights as it'll get down into the low 40s. So now looking at your seven day forecast again, mid 70s for today, upper 60s for tomorrow. Weekend will be sunny and drier. The high will be in the mid 60s for Saturday, low 70s for Sunday. That's also the first day of spring. Then we'll have a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms for Monday and a 90% chance for Tuesday. Could possibly have severe weather for that day, but of course we're still monitoring that. So with any updates, we'll keep you in Formed and then Wednesday will be cooling off a little bit into the upper 60s. Thanks for tuning in. Now, Ty, back to you at the news desk.